Hello, I'm sitting here with Goth Minister backstage. Hello, and please introduce yourself. Hello, Paddy. I'm Björn from Goth Minister. I'm Chris. Guten Abend. And your favorite beer is? German beer. Special one? <laughs> Freiburger or something, I don't know. Okay, and you? Well, I guess you mean Beck's. It's the best beer, yeah. No, I don't care. It's your decision. <laughs> I thought they were hinting to some kind of sneak uh, promotion here for Bex because we're sitting here drinking Bex. Okay, you have a new album out now, Utopia, and um, you will produce a whole new show for the new album. And it's a, it's a kind of concept, and um, you spend a lot of money and time. And what was the idea behind? First and foremost, we are uh, interested in giving the audience a great live show. Uh, so we have put a lot of effort in the new live show. We also made a new film with the CD release and the whole CD album is a concert album. So it's uh, somehow about me as a person because I work as a lawyer daytime. I'm got this at night so you journalists actually gave me the idea because this is the most common question I get. How can you combine these two? So I think in real life I can manage but this album is about what happens when everything goes to hell. And which side do you prefer? I prefer the lawyer or No, the I band? prefer both. <laughs> both. Definitely that's why I'm doing it because if you do too much uh, music I might get bored and too much serious work I might get bored too. So I like the combination. It's my yin and yang, you know, it's like you have to have some contrast in your life. You know, if you if you do the same thing all your life, then your life is really short. I believe that we have a certain amount of years, but what you fill them with, that's what is important. So I try to enjoy my life and do what I like the most. In the press you could read that the mo new Goffman's album should be the hardest ever, but the new single, Utopia, is very soft. Yeah, it's very soft. It's uh, <laughs> very cozy. It's a pop tune with some metal in it. It's very nice. But there are hard songs on the album too, right? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, much much more metal than before, and um, so it's kind of fun to play. Okay, and with Utopia, you also had this um, Eurovision contest experience. Uh, yeah, how was it for you? <laughs> it was great actually to be in the Eurovision because we told them when we were asked to play there uh, to to join. We said that it has to be on our terms. I know there are a lot of artists who uh, maybe make songs to win Eurovision or to they are totally focused on the terms of Eurovision mm. but we said that if we can be Gothmister then we can join and I think we did and the fans loved it because we are only ourselves we're not a product of Eurovision mm. we won't let Eurovision use us we use Eurovision I think that was a great success for the band in Norway we played for a million TV viewers lots of them never heard about the band seen the band before so I think we got uh, a lot of new fans. You were with a lot of monsters on tour. Mm. How is it in the tour bars or in the hotel rooms? How you live together? I don't know because I work all the time. I haven't been at the hotel yet today, so I'm just uh, I'm kind of combining uh, artists and kind of a crew member. How is it to get, uh, live together with monsters? It's kind of nice, you know. It shakes me up by the leg sometimes and throw me around. It's kind of exhausting, but it looks good. Yeah. How about the catering? What they eat? How do we feed them? With uh, fans or with zombies? No, we feed them with uh, nothing, actually. We don't even pay them. <laughs> so they're very cheap labor. Some, uh, sometimes we give them some crumbs from the leftovers, but that's it. We have one of them in our room, actually, sometimes. And takes up a lot of space and make a lot of noise so pretty hard to sleep try to ignore him it takes a lot of energy actually from us <laughs> but you have enough energy for the stage left right yeah I do but um, last night fucking ruined my sleep sorry <laughs> yeah. yeah well we as I said we have a huge live show now I believe uh, it's the biggest in the scene tonight 
Hamburg Grosse Freiheit. We're gonna um, show the audience all everything we got. We have a huge animatronic demon, 350 kilos, goes six meters up in the air. It grabs drummer Chris by his legs and shakes him far up in the air. Poor boy. We have uh, animatronic climbers climbing down from the ceiling. We have um, a chainsaw massacre on stage. We have zombies, we have werewolves, we have witches, we have lots of pyro. And I think a good show. And it's also filled with a lot of humor because we think it's important to have some kind of self-irony too. Because we enjoy this and we like to s the audience to see how fun we have with this actually. So. Uh, it seems that you are a fan of horror movies, right? Yeah, definitely. Which one are your favorites? Well, my story with horror movies, I met a friend many years ago. He was a bit older than me and he brought some old VHS tapes. Black and white, really poorly, po poor copies. It was Evil Dead, Prince of Darkness and Halloween. I think those were the th first three I, I saw and I still love them. It's, uh, John Carpenter is a great director. He was. He was. <laughs> he was. But uh, actually, not too many people have heard about Prince of Darkness, yeah. I think. Also, Alice Cooper has a guest role in this. It's a leader yeah, zombie. I, hmm? I know the movie. So, and it's still scary, I think. But some of the 80s movies are a bit silly, maybe, after many years. But I like a lot of these 80s horror movies. It's supposed to be a little bit silly. It's, you can see the irony now and mm. still a bit scary. Okay, now you're in a, you have a very big show. What, what, when you think about uh, what, what happened in two years, you have to uh, make a bigger show or something, or <coughs> do you think about it? It's funny, we, we played here at um, uh, Grosse Freiheit in 2005, supporting La Cremosa. Yeah. Back then I thought it was a big venue. When we come here now with our big show, it's too small. The venue is too small. <laughs> it's, it's not high enough under the ceiling. The stage is too small for all the props. So we're quite ambitious, but um, of course we we want to play big shows because I think the concept of Gothmaster is like a stadium, uh, stadium rock metal band. It's, it doesn't fit in small clubs. So that's why we do fewer shows, but bigger shows, and we're going to continue with that. I think that's the good way to do this project. And uh, I don't know, there's only one way and it's up. <laughs> okay. Um, at the moment, there are church days here in Hamburg. You know? Yeah, I heard. Yeah. Yeah. How about the idea to do the show outside with a burning Bible tonight? Well, <laughs> the burning Bible has uh, its uh, ups and downs. Uh, it's quite funny because uh, a lot of people think we are maybe anti-religious or have some political or religious statement behind this, but. It belongs to the story of Utopia, where everything goes to hell. And uh, we start the film with the quote, um, there will be resurrection of the dead, of the righteous and of the evil, which is a, a biblical quote. Mm. And um, so the Bible burns. But it's not kind of a statement that we are evil or that we are Satanists or anything like that. But I think when you have a good story behind something and you do something that some people think you it's shocking. It's very silly when they say that, oh, they're doing this, oh, we don't like it, without knowing the story behind it. Mm. It's also a bit funny because it's provoking people, and I like to uh, make some resistance. I think people need some resistance in their lives to wake up. Yep. Okay. Do you do some resistance tonight at the Reeperbahn here? Some resistance, yeah, yeah. We have to fight all the trannies <laughs> and all the hookers <laughs> to get here. <laughs> Okay, Reeperbahn is a hard place. <laughs> it's not so hard compared to Oslo city. Okay. That's, that's hardcore for you. Okay. That's really hardcore. But anyways, I mean, Hamburg, I, I like the city because it's not too big. And uh, there's a lot of nice people here, like you. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, guys, enjoy your after show party, enjoy your gig. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you very much. Thank you, sir, my friend. <laughs> your German is excellent. No. No? Okay. Nein. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you for that. It's always a pleasure. Keine Gurts.